If something is important enough, even if the odds are against you, you should still do it. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. No, I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. People work better when they know what the goal is and why. It is important that people look forward to coming to work in the morning and enjoy working. Pay attention to negative feedback and solicit it, particularly from friends. Hardly anyone does that, and it's incredibly helpful. You have to be pretty driven to make it happen. Otherwise, you will just make yourself miserable. Life on Earth must be about more than just solving problems. It's got to be something inspiring, even if it is vicarious. There's a tremendous bias against taking risks. Everyone is trying to optimize their ass covering. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. It's okay to have your eggs in one basket as long as you control what happens to that basket. You want to be extra rigorous about making the best possible thing you can. Find everything that's wrong with it and fix it. Seek negative feedback, particularly from friends. I think it would be great to be born on Earth and to die on Mars. Just hopefully not at the point of impact. Funded by the government just means funded by the people. Government, by the way, has no money. It only takes money from the people. Sometimes people forget that that's really what occurs. We need to figure out how to have the things we love and not destroy the world. When you struggle with a problem, that's when you understand it. Being an entrepreneur is like eating glass and staring into the abyss of death. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. I tend to approach things from a physics framework. And physics teaches you to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. When Henry Ford made cheap, reliable cars people said, nah, what's wrong with a horse? That was a huge bet he made, and it worked. You want to have a future where you're expecting things to be better, not one where you're expecting things to be worse. I don't create companies for the sake of creating companies, but to get things done. My motivation for all my companies has been to be involved in something that I thought would have a significant impact on the world. When I started SpaceX I thought that the most likely outcome was failure. And I think to have any other expectation would have been irrational. I think there are too many smart people pursuing internet stuff, finance, and law. That is part of the reason why we haven't seen as much innovation. The odds of me coming into the rocket business, not knowing anything about rockets, not having ever built anything, I mean, I would have to be insane if I thought the odds were in my favor. Most people can learn a lot more than they think they can. They sell themselves short without trying. Starting and growing a business is as much about the innovation 
drive and determination of the people who do it as it is about the product they sell. I think Tesla will most likely develop its own autopilot system for the car, as I think it should be camera-based, not LiDAR-based. However, it is also possible that we do something jointly with Google. We're running the most dangerous experiment in history right now, which is to see how much carbon dioxide the atmosphere can handle before there is an environmental catastrophe. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. The idea of lying on a beach as my main thing just sounds like the worst. It sounds horrible to me. I would go bonkers. I would have to be on serious drugs. I'd be super duper bored. I like high intensity. I came to the conclusion that we should aspire to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand what questions to ask. Really, the only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. It is remarkable how many things you can explode. I'm lucky I have all my fingers. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. If humanity doesn't land on Mars in my lifetime, I would be very disappointed. Brand is just a perception, and perception will match reality over time. Sometimes it will be ahead, other times it will be behind. But brand is simply a collective impression some have about a product. I wouldn't say I have a lack of fear. In fact, I'd like my fear emotion to be less because it's very distracting and fries my nervous system. There are some important differences between me and Tony Stark, like I have five kids, so I spend more time going to Disneyland than parties. I don't think it's a good idea to plan to sell a company. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. Land on Mars, a round trip ticket, half a million dollars. It can be done. My mentality is that of a samurai. I would rather commit seppuku than fail. I think most of the important stuff on the internet has been built. There will be continued innovation, for sure, but the great problems of the internet have essentially been solved. The reason we should do a carbon tax is because it's the right thing to do. It's economics 101, elementary stuff. When we got Tesla going at the very beginning, if you asked me what I thought the odds of success were, I would have said less than 50%. I would have said that failure is the most likely outcome. I've actually made a prediction that within 30 years a majority of new cars made in the United States will be electric. And I don't mean hybrid, I mean fully electric. When I was in college, I wanted to be involved in things that would change the world. Thanks for watching. Please support my channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for regular content. Like, comment and share. See you next time.